Good morning, I'm Lyric Stevens. Today is October 18th and your Skyline Scoop starts right now. Here's a message from our Skyline Senate. Hi everyone, my name is Luis Alvarez and I am the student body president. This month is Breast Cancer Awareness Month and to help you bring awareness, we will be having our Pink Out Day in October 22nd. We will be charging $2 and we'll be starting to accept money October 20th and the 21st during all lunches. You will be given a pink sticker so you can wear on your badge Friday. We will also be selling on Friday as well before school starts in the front of the cafeteria. The money will be donated to breast cancer research. You are allowed to wear jeans or go pink all out. Make sure to go pink, go out, and show out. Hi everyone, my name is Anna Perez and I'm your student body vice president. This is Yemi Lopez and she is your student body secretary. We are bringing back our penny war. Penny war is where you donate pennies to compete against other grade levels. For example, when you donate a penny, you earn one point, but if you put a penny in someone else's grade level, like a dime, they lose 10 points, and a quarter, they would lose 25 points. The winning class with the most pennies will earn a free dress day slash character day on October the 29th. Please remember to dress school appropriate we will start accepting pennies in front, of the, in front of the cafeteria starting on October 18. So start saving your pennies and let this war begin. And with your morning forecast, here's Kennedy. Thanks, Lyric. Welcome to Weather with Kennedy. The weather forecast for today is going to be in the mid-70s at 75 degrees with a mostly sunny sky and humidity at 51%. It will be slightly windy with winds at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Tomorrow's forecast will be, be in the high 70s at 79 degrees with a partly cloudy sky and a 14% chance of rain. That's the Skyline forecast for today. Back to you, Lyric. Thanks, Kennedy. If you're interested in trying out for the 2022 Lady Raiders track and field team, tryouts will begin October 25th from 4.30 to 6.30 p.m. You must have an updated physical and online rank one completed. If you have any further questions, please stop by the gym to see Coach JJ. And now to hear what happened on this day in history, here's misinformation. Today is October the 18th and it's National Leggings Day. Proudly wear your favorite pair and go shopping for more. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your chance to get comfortable and get ready for the day. Consider this your chance to break the dress code, except for in school. On this day in history, in 1963, Felicette was the first cat sent into space. She was a black and white cat female found on the streets of Paris and was selected from 14 cats and trained for the mission. She traveled 120 miles into space for one hour and 20 minutes and returned to the Earth by a parachute and was recovered safely. That's today's misinformation and all the info you didn't know you needed. Until then, I catch you next time. And now for our Skyline Scoop Halloween Countdown. Hello Raiders, it's October 18th and we have 13 more days until Halloween. This whole week will be about real life scary stories. This disturbing story happened right here in Texas, the Icebox Murderers. Houston, Texas, 1965, Fred and Weena Rogers, along with his son Charles, were a family which mostly kept to themselves, especially Charles, who was reclusive and antisocial. Then one day after not hearing from the Rogers in a couple of days, a family member called the Houston police. While the police were investigating the house, they noticed food sitting out on the dining room table. They, see the, they open the ice box to see numerous packages of meat stacked upon one another. 
The officer initially suspected the unwrapped cuts of meat may be the couple's dismembered bodies. Police then come upon organs in a nearby sewer, which they discover were the remains of the elder Rogers. Later, Fred and Wiener Rena Rogers were found to be murdered when the rest of the remains were discovered in their homes on Father's Day, 1965. Police found that Fred was bludgeoned to death with a hammer to the head, and Edwina was also assaulted and shot to the head. The police focused on one suspect, the 43-year-old son, Charles Rogers. After hunting for Charles, he was never found, and the police pronounced him legally dead. The story of Familia Petrell is, is very creepy and disturbing. To further murder your peace of mind and sense of well-being, we will explore the savage details about the Hotel of H.H. Holmes where you may find more lurking on your pillow than a chocolate. Peace out, Raiders. And now, for your favorite comedian, you've heard of him before, Jesus. So I went to tea building last week. They told me this joke, so if it goes bad, go to tea building. But here's a joke. What did the buffalo say to his son when he was leaving? Bison. Here's one of my jokes. Today, I learned if you turn a canoe over, you can wear it as a hat because it's capsized. Let's remember to wear our masks, save sanitize, and check your emails. And teachers, don't forget to click the link below for your advisory content. I'm Lyric Stevens, that's all they gave me, so I am out of here.